Yeah, um, very, very strange because um, it was forming into night and there was still a bit of light, so it was very difficult to see. Um, but it was pretty humid. Uh, not as humid as last week where I was training, so I felt okay. Um, probably didn't start the way I you know, would have liked to, <laughs> but I think I played pretty well after. Um, I tried going more, uh, you know, aggressive in my back end. Uh, all of a sudden, my back end came out of nowhere and started hitting, uh, going down the line. Uh, probably one of the best uh, that I've probably, you know, ever played a match with. And I was really happy with my back end. I've never seen it like this. So confident in the way I was hitting it, and I just couldn't believe I was stroking it like that. So it's really good to see that, you know, the training's been coming well last week, and that shot's really paying off, doing a lot of damage. It's sort of been, uh, we actually seen the fact that quite a bit that you've had a really high performance. And well, um, it was difficult. There were some games where I was, uh, it was very difficult to close out the the game, and I felt like I needed to do something different and surprise him. But he returned very well. All those guys that are uh, Spanish or play on clay, they return really good. So it's difficult to come in on them. Um, but if you can catch them on the surprise, I feel like you can win a point. And uh, being up game points sometimes and you know, having a long juice juice game is where you need to mix that up sometimes. And I felt, you know, today paid off sometimes and didn't at other times. You're surprised by your back end, but obviously you've done it in training. Yeah. Um, so was it just not uh, the ability to execute it in game time that surprised you? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, it's amazing in practice. I think I hit the my back end probably, you know, in the top four or five in the world when I want to. But all of a sudden I get into a match and I start slicing and I lose my back end. And that's where it's been costing me. And it's very very tricky to, to play and I have a very good slice so I get into this uh, mode where I slice a lot. So today I wasn't slicing a lot, I was sitting my back end I think my back end is much better than my my slice when it wants to be. So I think uh, I'm going to start sticking this game plan and you know hitting my back end like I have. How excited are you about the prospect of playing Andy Robinson? Yeah, um, good, good, um, good match. I think very, it's going to be very big for me. I think uh, I'm playing well. I th- uh, I think if I play well the way I was playing uh, today in the second and third set and the end of the match, I think uh, I can I can pull off the win. It's going to be very difficult. He's got uh, the crowd here. Um, it's, uh, it's like me playing in Australia. It's very <laughs> you feel very good and you know the crowd gets behind your back. So I think the crowd's going to be on his side. Um, but I think I can play well and relax. And if I'm playing the way I was playing today, I think I can you know play pretty good and pull the upset. The crowd can also pick on. The other guy, can't they? They when they're behind the American. Are you ready for some banter from the crowd? Yeah, I am. I really enjoy uh, these uh, the crowd here. They get behind you so good. I think you know, you know, playing today, I experienced the crowd uh, never like this at New York. It's only my second uh, event here to play, and you know, they were they were really good and excited, and you know, every shot that we made, they they cheered for really well, and you know, to get a crowd like that on the backcourts is is really fun, and you know, obviously now it's going to be probably a a bigger match, bigger court, and you know, I've got to expect more for myself. On Rod Labor Arena, you like to engage every now and then with the crowd, so there'll be opportunities now to have banter with Americans. They like calling out when they're out there on Arthur Ashe. Yeah. Will you get involved? Oh, I will, for sure. Um, depends if uh, Andy's kicking my ass <laughs> or not. But um, if it's going my way and I'm playing well, I think the crowd might start getting quiet. Um, but <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> so, what, I mean, what's the um, uh, it's, uh, you know, I, I'm going to get opportunities to break him. Um, you know, he, he, he runs well, he competes, and I feel like um, I haven't played him that a lot in practice. I've never played him in a match, and I feel like my my, aggress- uh, my aggression and the way I play is a bit different to his. He's a bit more defensive. I think I'm going to play much better attack than him if I'm playing the way I'm playing today. Um, and, you know, it's just a matter of getting that break and holding on and, you know, believing in yourself and, you know, I don't think he's like the top three or four and that's definitely where, where I have a lot of belief and I think I can win this match. Well, it, it was, yeah, very difficult. You know, I got questions like that the last few weeks where, you know, winning that match in uh, Toronto was was uh, was the one uh, after, you know, six, seven weeks. But, um, you know, I was training well and competing. I think I played a good Olympics and, you know, lost a very tight match. And um, I felt like uh, I was going to get that win sooner or later. I mean, if you work hard and uh, you're doing the right thing,
things you, you're going to get eventually, and that's where the last few weeks I, you know, managed to play really good tennis and um, lost to both winners, and you know now feeling pretty good and back to the form where I was playing at the start of the year. Um, yeah, I think it's, a, it's funny with me because you know I love grass, I love hard court, but you know grass wasn't that good for me this year. But it is my favourite surface, and you know hard court is you know really good to me this year. So has uh, I have my ups and downs, I think, but I'm starting to find my balance again, which is important to have a good consistency if you're playing, if you want to play at the high level. I think Roger said before he played in Cincinnati and uh, in England said it today that it's. Uh, Pretty hard for younger guys to actually maintain that consistency while they're, I suppose, like they're fully involved. Is that, is that how you feel, or how are you feeling like you're coming out of the, I suppose, maturing coming out of the end of that sort of period? Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's, it, I didn't have a lot of pressure when I was, you know, 17, 18, and that's, uh, you know, I played really well and got my ranking really high, which was uh, unexpected, and I think... Um, now there's a, there's a little bit more pressure involved of defending, and it was my first time to see where how to do how to do these things and defend these tournaments. And you know, it's 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 my first time to really do that. And I felt this year I didn't do it quite well, but I think it's a learning curve. Um, if you have a look at the top guys, they're, they're defending probably every week they play. So um, I think it's a learning curve. I think I'm improving. Um, and that's that, that's all you need to do if you're improving in, in any sport or anything you do. I think you're going to become become better. Yeah, I do um, for sure. The the bigger player I play, the, the the bigger occasion I seem to play better. And I think um, you know, growing up, I got the opportunity to play at such a young age against these big players on big courts. So you know, that's the, the experience that that I learned from that. I think it's important to get it at a young age, and it's only going to benefit you from from now on. It was your first crack against Andy, but uh, Leighton's had quite a rivalry with Roddick down the years. Do you remember watching matches between those two here, and uh, were you tapping to Leighton's, uh, you know, background on Roddick? Yeah, I, I, I watched a lot of uh, Rusty and, um, and Andy growing up. They played a lot of times, so I'm definitely going to talk to Leighton <laughs> about a few things and where, where I think, you know, what his opinion is. And obviously he's a, he's, a, he's a great, great server, and we all know that. And, you know, like I said, I think if I play off the ground the way I was playing today, I, sh I should be, you know, winning a lot of points off the ground. Do you want a familiarisation? You'll be looking for one out of Nash, won't you, before that match? <laughs> Yeah, I guess uh, it's all right. Any occasion, I mean, if you put me on court seven, uh, I'll play against Eddie. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a hit out there, though? I haven't, no. Um, so I'd like to come down. Maybe I think I'm playing doubles tomorrow. If I get the chance tomorrow or the next day, just to hit the 15 minutes on it because it is going to be a new experience for me and might take a few games to settle in. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. See you.